Hey, Aerith? You awake? Barely. Why? Was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did, at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or... maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why... Why what? This is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Cloud, you up? Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. You know that I killed her. So, who is she? Or rather, what is she? Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway... There's something I need to ask you, too. <laughs> Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him, though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years! You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. Okay. 
I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. You two fight? No. We have enough problems as it is. Copy? Night. Tomorrow is another day. What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Oh, uh... If you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. The Rook's got a backbone. Aha! Uh -huh. Finally decided to get up? Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards... Wanna climb the clock tower together? Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Some chocobo ice cream! All right. <gasps> Cloud! Over here! Let's get started then, shall we? I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks? It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. 
I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. Gotta be. Follow me. Not here. Well, we know we'll take the back town. Hey, you. Seen anyone acting suspicious? I haven't. Oh, that any of you see someone? Got it. One them found. I heard about the reactor bombings in Midgar. That was you, wasn't it? It's okay, I'm on your side. I got a contact at HQ. You're with Avalanche? Not exactly. Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. <clears throat> May I ask what's going on? We're searching for some fugitives. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Now that you mention I think I might have. Though perhaps it was just my imagination. What was it? Oh, for the love of get out of here! Wait, wait. I know I saw some people who had a fugitive air about them. If only I could remember their faces. Annoy someone else. Stop wasting our time. Catch you. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. <laughs> yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Oh, 
You made it. All in one piece? Sorry we're late! For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. What? Uh... Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. Got that? Now, let's move! Barely hanging on. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, your left, your left, right. We won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. <laughs> and there it was! The first step on our new journey! You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Right? Sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juna. Sure. Why not? You'd trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe. We swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> <laughs> well... Can we rent some birds? Can we? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the ride to Calm. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. 
The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamplands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Howdy! Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could've fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But... I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. Uh, the thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle him no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Over there. It's Sephiroth. <gasps> what? Come on. I don't see Sephiroth. You? No. I don't. Is that dry land I see? Let's go.
disguised itself as an island. Gee, I had noticed. Focus. Get back! Hey, was it always this cold? Not good. Everyone, keep your distance. Wakey, wakey. You remember who I am? Eris. Oh, it's good to have you back, Cloud. Sephiroth? I knew he was strong, but still. Those guys are looking for him, too. They've got to be. Yeah, I kind of get that feeling as well. Let's not lose her. <laughs> 